just come out for a bit of a paddle you can see behind me the toll bridge it's a lovely flat calm day the water's slightly running but there's no wind whatsoever I wish I've had my uh, canoe rather than the kayak but this will do for today beautiful area there's fish jumping all the way around hopefully I might catch them later on maybe a bit bigger than the ones I caught yesterday Just stopped in this section of river. There's a little fish jump in there. It's so so peaceful and beautiful. It's running a little bit faster here. So I'm going to work a little bit harder. But the advantage is on the way back I'll have the flow with me. And there's a little bit of wind as well. So hopefully that'll stay in the right direction and give me a back wind on the way back as well. But isn't this just stunningly beautiful? So, so peaceful. It's come up to a bit of moving water, but it's really shallow. So I'm going to have to drag the canoe through this bit. I've just come through this section here. It's to deepen up a bit there, so I'll be able to paddle again. Come to another section where there's a bit of moving water. There's a bit of a technique for heading into moving water. Um, this full paddle so far I've been going against the flow of the water. So I can have a nice easy paddle on the way back. But when you're heading towards the flow of the water, instead of heading straight to it, so pointing as it is now, you see the front of the kayaks pointing straight into the water and trying to paddle like that. That is not the easiest way to do it. There's something called a ferry glide. So if you change the angle of the boat, and zigzag so we would point at that angle and you get some of the momentum, momentum of the flow that helps you move along and once you get to that side you can do the same again so we're basically sliding, sliding across the river it's called ferry gliding and it's an easy way to actually move against moving water if you want to see an expert do it look at ducks they do it all the time 
This section is almost like a natural weir. And the river widens slightly and then drops off. Very shallow on that side. Time for another walk. to be really careful of as you see the river here splits off to this side and it's fast moving and it's quite deep here so people will be tempted to stay away from that shallow and having to walk but coming down this fast moving piece here unfortunately it comes under these bushes it might seem quite fun but that is a real hazard the potential of getting your boat particularly an open canoe Canadian type canoe if you get your canoe stuck under there and you're in it, there's a good potential that you could get trapped underneath, particularly a child, and drowned. So that's a real dangerous area. So though it may seem the obvious thing to go in the deepest water and just flow down, it may be better to come across to the other side, take a bit shallower water and stay away from the overhanging trees, stop entrapment. Good thing about YouTube is you can really watch it any way you want. Look at this. Wearing a hat and some sort of maybe sort of jumper, speaking because it's just had a shower. And how about this for a location? Technology, brilliant. Stop yeah, for a for drink the, uh, the, uh, and uh, watch a bit of YouTube. Uh, Been paddling for about two hours now, maybe a bit longer. Stuffing up for various photographs and text and video. We've got to this point now. Lovely wide open stretch there. I've just had a look on the internet to see if there's any pubs nearby, but unfortunately not. So, probably head back now, go back, have a spot of lunch and beer, and get the fly fishing gear out, see if I can find some of those very small fish.
and to celebrate a bottle of taffy apple. Very Welsh. Deserve that. <laughs> nice one. <sighs> you good? Food. Yep. After a couple of bottles of cider and some cheese and biscuits, straight out to do a bit of fly fishing. See if we can catch some more of those small fish we was catching yesterday to finish the day off. It didn't take long and here we go. That's one I did too.